Welcome back to Duke of Scopy TV. I'm Elaine Stenson. I'm joined in the studio now by our regular guest, Jean-Francois Osterzak, who's the director with Management Joint Trust. They are the editor of FinGraphs.com. Jean-Francois, you're very welcome. Thanks for having me back, Elaine. So last week we saw less than expected US jobs growth. But this has led to tampered expectations of a more aggressive tapering process. And it will be Janet Yellen's first testimony this Thursday. Well, it's going to be very interesting to see what she has to say. But as to now, um, basically, the less aggressive uh, expectations on uh, tapering have uh, helped equity markets. Uh, last week, we were signaling that uh, the short-term correction was getting towards uh, exaggeration zones to the downside. And we had expected a turn up during the week uh, on equity markets as on the euro dollar pair. So let's have a quick look at them. Right. And let's start with, uh, we are on our standard uh, FinGraphs mosaic, which we've done for Ducas Copy. We have Euro Dollar, Cable, Australian Dollar, Gold, US Dollar, Swiss, US Dollar, Yen, three months Treasury, now S&P Futures, and three months for the year tre Treasury Futures. So let's start with uh, the S&P. And uh, this is uh, the future of the S&P. I'm just going to rejig this a tiny bit. And so um, we had been signaling that uh, we were in a distribution zone for quite some time. Uh, we don't think it's quite over yet. There's probably a bit more to go. But uh, we've entered an intermediate correction. And uh, our question was, uh, uh, was this intermediate correction going to lead to a long-term reversal? And our view is that uh, it was the timing was not quite right yet. And we were more expecting a top towards uh, the second quarter this year. So now if you look at the charts, you have an investor's view here. You have a long-term weekly, medium-term daily, and short-term hourly. And uh, the weekly is expensive, and you can see that we've almost reached our targets here in terms of time. We have reached them in terms of targets, uh, and, uh, but it's still heading up. We hence still the bull here. Uh, the recent um, down movement has created a corrective down uh, a period, a consolidation period. And that's what you see here with the bear. But as you can see, and maybe I could focus on it, it's only a correction. It's a correction down. So that means it doesn't cast into doubt the longer term weekly trend. Now, it does give you a kind of a, a trailing stop or stop loss. And that is if you were to make it durably below the 1700 then uh, we would anticipate a more uh, widespread uh, reversal. But this is not a case at the moment. We're only in a correction. And we would expect uh, uh, the daily to reposition itself at some point to the upside in sync with what we expect on the weekly. Now, uh, the alleys were quite interesting. Last week, we were signaling that we had a lot of exaggeration, that we were getting towards a, a bottom, and hence, we're expecting a reaction. And that reaction has uh, materialized. And uh, it has even gone above what our corrective targets would have uh, pointed to. So we're now in an impulsive move, and it's a resume uptrend. So uh, we believe that if we summarize this up, that uh, the market over the weekly is still in an uptrend, although expensive. It's in a correction on the daily, and we may be already coming out of this correction to create a new leg up. Okay. And the emerging market crisis has calmed down. Yeah, well, there's less concern about it. And I think it, it, it all boggles down to a, a tapering. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, if, uh, if the market believes uh, the, uh, the Fed is not going to be too aggressive with this tapering, it gives us uh, some uh, leeway for some risk taking. That's basically what we've been seeing here and puts less pressures on uh, emerging market uh, 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 economies and, uh, and in general their financing. And so uh, let's say that at the moment uh, it seems like uh, the aggressive selling that we've seen uh, through the end of January, early February, seems to be behind us for, for now. Now we have to be able to prove that this new uptrend is uh, sustainable and can lead us up for another uh, few months. Okay. Now, uh, looking at the euro. Yeah, and we've seen no commitment from the European Central Bank in terms of monetary policy. And that basically is helping the euro. And uh, in order for the dollar to get stronger, you would need more uh, a more aggressive lead on, uh, lead on a tapering. 
uh, the fact that uh, the ECB is not committing to any easing or any further easing itself is, is, is also helping the euro. So you have a double effect here. And as long as this situation stands, uh, the euro should be well sustained. And that's what we see in the graphics. We see that our weeklies is still heading up here. And it still has quite a lot of potential, although I would argue that we're probably still within a base and it still has to be decided if we could create this aggressive move up. Uh, short term, we have uh, come to uh, an exhaustion phase, basically, where uh, our targets have been reached. We've had a top in the red here uh, on, on in the overbought zone on the oscillators. And uh, basically, our envelopes have touched each other a few times. So it is an expensive market for the euro. I think there's a lot of re resistance toward uh, uh, above 138 to 139. And uh, we're in a consolidation at the moment. And uh, the question is, uh, in this consolidation, are we able to create a new move up, which could bring us out of this uh, consolidation? Well, basically, we'll focus on the hourly here. And uh, as long as we stay corrective here, I think we still have some work to do. If we were able to make it above the corrective targets, which stand here at 136.80, uh, we might be able to argue here that uh, we are in a resume uptrend and that there's a bit more uh, to be fetched here uh, over, over the next few months. Okay. Jean-Francois, thank you so much for joining us today, as always. Thank you for having me. And that's all we have time for for now, but do check back later for further updates and for further interviews from the TV team. Bye for now.